<laughs> Here's a name I can say from the Eradicator. People of the verse, hello and welcome to this channel. This is the Eradicator, and in this video, we are going to have a quick look at the progress made in Star Citizen Alpha 3.8.1 in the PTU. Still in the PTU, this is the D patch. We should expect the PTU to stay for quite some uh, time in the website. We can actually see that the PTU is expected to last until the end of the month. So, uh, well, that is not really a surprise given the amount of issues that there are, and this is definitely not the only only uh, list of issues that there is so let's get started here let's see let's have a quick look at what they've done uh, bug fixes not a lot here uh, mostly some sound effects they finally uh, made sure that non-medical beds in the 890 jump are properly uh, working so if you are in the 890 jump and want to log out it is uh, going to work so that is uh, pretty cool obviously uh, they've also made sure that overclock power plants should not make sure that the ship is no longer recoverable. So obviously if you want to uh, keep your ship and make sure your ship is not lost and you don't want to reclaim your ship all the time, that is also uh, pretty cool as well. And they've also fixed an issue where recovery will trigger despite uh, the player pressing uh, the key to decline. A server deadlock, five server crashes, six client crashes. And so I decided to have a quick look of, um, you know, to see whether or not uh, maybe, you know, they would have fixed the issues with uh, what is going on with R Corp. You may have seen the video yesterday that uh, R Corp uh, was uh, bugged at Area 18 is killing you uh, quite often. And unfortunately, as you can see in this footage, it is still the case. I still randomly died. I have found a walk-around, actually. Uh, it seems to be a walk-around, at least. It seems that what is killing you here, I think that the particles from the Thieves, Taste the Fresh commercial are actually killing you. So if you go around, so instead of turning right to go straight to the R Corp main plaza, I actually turned left when I leave Adriana Falls, and I go to... Um, I go to zone two, and then I go back to uh, our corp and to go to uh, to our corp main plaza, to go to um, uh, to go to um, to the to the to the tram. That's why I was looking for really a tram, like the space tram, the tram that's flying, right? Um, unfortunately, uh, as soon as I tried to uh, get a ship to get out of uh, area 18, uh, I had a 30k error. And uh, which uh, told me that, well, this uh, patch here, this D patch, uh, is definitely not a, uh, a release candidate, to say the least. So, of course, I'm going to fill a, um, I'm going to fill a, uh, a form here in the issue council. The link is going to be in the description down below. So, please, uh, I think, <coughs> oh, losing my voice here. Hold on. I think that the devs definitely need to be aware of this issue because I haven't seen anything in the issue council. So please uh, click on the link down below. And if this is a bug that you have also encountered, uh, please make sure to uh, fill the report so that the, the devs are aware of it and that they try to fix that. Because obviously right now this is pretty game breaking and this is something that is preventing the game from being released in my opinion but tell me what you guys think have you tried the ptu what do you think about the current state of the ptu i know that a lot of guys a lot of you guys have said in the comment that hey, Ra, this is the ptu uh, what are you talking about the ptu well i'm talking about the ptu because these are news i'm talking about the ptu because you guys deserve to be informed about what's going on that's why i'm talking about the ptu and i know that there are people also who were not happy that i am showing star citizen in a light that is uh, not very glorious and a light that is not very uh, that is not working so well and I can understand that it can be quite frustrating that's totally okay but I also want to show the reality this channel is not a white knight channel where everything is always positive I'm going to I'm going to show the good I'm going to show the bad and I'm going to show the ugly if there is ugly to be talked about and that is what it is today so yeah uh, that's what we'll be uh, doing in the in this channel and probably in uh, the next videos in the near future. All right, guys. Uh, well, we're going to end uh, this uh, this video with uh, what we're seeing here, a little 30k error, <laughs> because that sums up pretty much everything that has been going on with the PTU, or at least my own experience with the PTU. I know that some people have had excellent uh, experience in the PTU. Uh, probably if you avoid R Corp, it is working quite well. A lot of people have told me that they have not experienced any of 
those bugs and that's totally fine i totally get it but at the same time it's also not acceptable that uh one of the planets is not usable and the devs really need to fix that all right guys um now that it is uh, being said and done it is now time to talk about the giveaways so here we go Hello and welcome to this channel everybody, this is the Eradicator and it's giveaway time! So to kick off this year we are starting with another double giveaway which is something that is being made possible thanks to the amazing people who support me on the crowdfunding website Patreon. And this is why this first giveaway that I will be mentioning here will be the Patreon's exclusive giveaway and then we'll talk about the YouTube giveaway. So here we go, this month I am giving away first to my Patreon supporter an RSI Earth rover. I chose this vehicle because it is perfect to explore Macrotech and its new environments and was even featured during the CitizenCon demo. All you need to do to get a chance of winning is to click on the link below to this channel's Patreon page. Pledges start at a dollar a month and heavily support this channel. Patreons also get access to my Discord, can get their submitted questions answered during the show, and I will soon be announcing a series of videos that will be for Patreons only, so it might be interesting to have a look. Also, to everyone who supports me on YouTube and smashed that subscribe button already, then I've got something for you too! I am giving away my very last Legionnaire LTI game package, which includes an Aurora Legionnaire with LTI, Star Citizen, and Squadron 42. Perfect if you are an Aurora lover, want an LTI token, or if you own if you don't own the game at all. All you need to do to get your sense of winning is to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment to any videos posted this month. The winner will be announced early next month, so good luck to everybody. And that's all for this quick video. Thank you very much again for your support. It really means the world to me, and I will see you tomorrow for more Star Citizen content. This is the Eradicator. I am signing out.